everyone, Donnie here with Paleo Tracks. I'm out in the Rocky Mountains again for a quick 24, and what I need is a quick 24 hour shelter. I saw this nice little rock overhang from a distance, thought I'd come and investigate it and see if it will definitely fit me throughout the night. And sure enough, it will. After doing just a quick visual inspection on the ground, I don't find any animal poos, any, 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 any uh, nesting or any bones or anything along those lines. So I feel like uh, nothing else really lives in here. The only thing I really gotta do is give a little poke on these rocks and make sure they're not gonna come down on my head in the middle of the night. I'm not building a fire, so they're definitely not gonna loosen up, but I do see some small little uh, boulders and little golf ball sized pieces that could fall. So I'm gonna give these guys a few knock and then uh, gather up some grass and make this guy my home for the night. should definitely be solid. I think I'm gonna sleep more underneath this uh, little belly side and maybe uh, keep my head closer to this area right in here. But now I'm gonna build a quick little frame, just kind of hold all that grass in and uh, we'll go from there. So it's important to remember that the sticks aren't actually a wall. They're really just there to kind of hold in the grass so it's not blowing around or as you move throughout the night, it's not toppling over and falling off the sides. It's kind of like a little containment system. So I put my grass in, I put the first uh, amount of grass long ways. Now I'm gonna take this grass and lay it the opposite direction so it kind of mats itself and locks down on top of each other. This will create a really good uh, cushiony mat for the entire night. down and dirty anytime you're out the bush. Use what nature provides. You know, I, I saw this little uh, rock overhang and I thought to myself, hey, that's gonna save me a lot of time uh, when it comes to building a shelter. I know there's tons of grass around and there's tons of, tons of dead fallen trees all around. So again, group them together and uh, 
you know, ultimately create what you need to create to get through the night or 48 hours or 72 hours. I often tell people the most important survival skill is creativity. And I think this is definitely a creative way of uh, bedding in for the night uh, or even a couple nights. Uh, it gave me so much extra time because I didn't have to spend a lot of time making ridge poles and propping them up and getting them just right to make a, a pretty killer lean-to that I was actually able to make a little uh, grass back mat uh, just bundles of grass tied together and it kind of goes from my shoulders down to my butt it gives me an extra layer of cushion it also acts like a pillow um, it's just a little comfort item but since I was able to uh, have so much more extra time I was able to create a little comfort item for myself so again anytime you're traveling in the back country or you're just out for a couple days uh, be creative no more carry less and utilize simple little uh, shelters like this to ultimately get you through the night or, the, or a couple nights